Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Darius, and this video is for the girls. It should cost a billion to look that good. Today, we're gonna let AI decide what we eat. It's actually so late in the day, and I just had a stressful morning. Right now, we're gonna ask what we should eat. We're gonna go pick it up. Um, and then kind of do a mini mini mukbang and then I'll show you guys what we're doing um, after that Okay, so I have Malik doing the AI stuff because I don't even know like I understand what it is But that's ab about the extent of everything. We're gonna be using ChatGPT. I know the girls have heard a lot about ChatGPT You can enter in prompts to ChatGPT and it will spit out something. So it'll be like Mm, it's currently fall and the degrees are 22 degrees Celsius and I want to wear something for the girls and it'll give you exact links to say what you're gonna wear. That's not true. Yes, it is. <laughs> really? It'll give you exact links. It'll give you video images. You can say like, um, you can put in uh, a job description. You can say, what should I put on my resume to match this job description? It'll give you so much things. Very useful tool, um, also very scary. I think when like AI started or like when I first heard about AI, it literally went from like, like his first AI used to be like just machine yeah. learning for like, mm -hmm. you know, typos and stuff. But then all of a sudden when I started hearing about, the moment I heard about chat GBT, every single company is like, Try our new AI. I literally on um, Duolingo, they yes, have, yeah. <laughs> on my Duolingo, they have a, um, like a max version and it uses machine learning and AI. And I just like, everybody's using AI, Google, Apple, everyone is using AI. And I just heard about it like in this way about a year ago. And then like everybody was like, we need to hop on that. Everyone was like, we need to hop on it. Uh, I'm currently in Buckhead, Atlanta and me and my friend are looking for a nice diner to eat at. And honestly guys, I really feel like you can just do something as simple as this. And I'm just gonna say like, any suggestions? Oh my God, and it's like doing like it's typing. As an AI language model, I don't have real-time data and my knowledge is limited to what was available up until September 2021, which is scary. So they actually have a lot of uh, options. It is late in the day, so I don't know if they're all open, um, but I think we're gonna like pick something between this and then we'll let you guys know what we picked. We're gonna land my diner. Here it is. It's and actually, it looks- It's on the corner of happy and healthy. It's not on the corner of happy and healthy. And I think it's eating. It's giving very Riverdale. It's the corner of sad and bedridden. No, it's not. It's it is. very Riverdale. Yeah, it is giving Riverdale. Um, and it's so stressful driving in Atlanta. Everybody's looking at me. I'm trying to like um, do sharp turns um, and take lefts and rights. This car behind me, I guess they're gone now. What's boards? Who this is? He's a he's a radio host. I uh, hate him. I I don't. He's actually iconic. He said um, he was playing Olivia Rodrigo. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. We were in Landmark that? Diner that it does look empty. I will say. Oh my gosh, it looks literally run. Like it down. actually looks permanently closed. But it does. Hey, I you can't judge a book by its cover. We're gonna show you guys the parking lot. That's the true test. Oh my god, it's just now yeah, open. Yeah. And See, they just opened. And look at us no. coming in. They have comedy. Anthony Rodia is going to play Friday, Saturday, mm. and Sunday. Shout out, Anthony. Yeah, actually, never. Look at the other <laughs> Chevy Malibu. In the, oh. <laughs> um, so that's the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. So, no, yeah. Okay, you. No, okay, because, yeah, it's no, it's fine. It's, we're coming at a really weird time. It's no, no. I think that anytime you should have at least a couple cars. This is crazy, Malik. They do. And why is every car in this parking lot a Chevy, including ours? Because the Chevys know what to do. They don't. Oh my gosh, the Chevy people, the Chevy girls are coming to the Landmark Diner. Oh my god, that is a Chevy. And I don't Chevy know Malibu. what- And that is a Chevy Malibu too. That's what I'm saying. Are oh, you just a oh, Chevy? they're all Malibus? Yes, they well, they're all They're all different are. years. Is, is ours the newest? I or? think ours is the newest. That's because ours is the rental. What does? Le leave that person's car alone. Out of way. Why are you trying to take their candy? Damn! <laughs> Malik. And those kick cats have been there no, since this haven't. building opened. I don't know if they needed any of this. They didn't. There were, but it was a ghost town. Um, it was crazy in there. I blame Malik if the food's bad. Well, she said, okay, y'all can do this off the premises. And she, that lady was on there. No, she... she <laughs> <laughs> but she was, like, on the phone, <laughs> like, trying to... I don't know if she was trying to, like... She was trying to solve a case. She was. She, she said, said her car so, was broken <laughs> into. <laughs> so, actually, the, 
the rear passenger door, like the window was busted. And then she was like, so I don't know. And I was just thinking like, what is going on? She like, but she said the front door was ajar. Yeah, she did say the front door was a jar. She did say the front door was a jar. And I think that there was some kind of criminal investigation yeah. going on with her insurance company. She was trying to fix her stuff. She was trying to fix her stuff. And she was like, I just thought that was really funny that she was having a whole like combo on the phone. Um, and then there was a man who literally parked right next to us right before we got in. And so he ran in there. So literally was, ran. Like, like he's waiting for this food. And then there was one other person in there eating. Yeah. You guys saw the video, but um, yeah. So we're going to see how this is. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so we just got back, and um, looking at the food, it actually doesn't look too bad. Um, this is a bagel that came with it, and it has the grill marks on it. It's pretty warm and like hot, I guess. The bacon looks like it's crispy enough. I'm worried about Malik's steak, because um, I did he eat got grilled steak. steak and eggs, it's also my uh, bagel. It's you basically really have the same warm. thing, but without with bacon, steak. and you got steak instead. Um, I think the steak looks good. I think it smells good. Okay. Well, I just think that they like, all right. It is giving like play food, but I don't what know. What do you mean by that? I think if this looks like like I had this as in a set when I was a kid. <laughs> so because the the folk yeah, grill marks on there. I don't know. Is but that even I, real though? I don't know. This just looks. I just never seen this. I don't know. Okay, I tried to add a, um some stuff to the potatoes because I didn't try it before. I've added the stuff to it, but the one I had didn't still didn't have enough seasoning on it. So now I feel like how did it taste before I even like tried it and i know you guys are gonna get on me for trying it before i even or putting stuff on it before i even tried it but yeah breakfast potatoes to me are really hit or miss and they're mostly miss like i really have to have a lot of seasoning on it otherwise i can't do it and i literally did a lot i added pico and i don't even know if you guys can see that but i add pico and all this other stuff so um it better be delicious now that i've had to do my own stuff on it okay we just finished i said we were gonna do a mukbang but we ended up not doing that because i just can't right now we don't have a lot of time either um I couldn't do the bacon. The bacon's actually still currently in my... There was a lot of pieces of bacon. There was like five pieces of bacon. But also, and I'm very particular about this. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever had like um, bacon, bacon that's too porky. Or I don't know how to explain it. That bacon tasted like pork rinds. And it was dry. And when it, it was in my throat, it left a lump in my throat when I tried That's really nasty. And I kept on like breaking them in half. and like, well, maybe this bacon piece will be better. And it wasn't any of the times. What's that pickle? Uh huh. What's that pickle? What about it? Why is it there? How did it fit into the meal? Maybe, I like. Maybe give me the science on that. The science is that I like pickles. That's it. I think my steak was very good. My eggs were very good. I did have to season the potatoes. Um, if I would have just had the potatoes just as they came, wouldn't have been able to do it. No, they were um, they were really bland. And I don't though. put like. I'm not, I don't put like a lot of salt on things, but these needed salt. Um, the eggs are really good. The steak was really good. They gave me a lot of steak. There was steak under like the egg. Like oh, the really? Um, Did it have a bone? No. Interesting. Um, steak was really good. Eggs were really good. Potatoes were really good, but you had to do some work. My food was good as is. I will be leaving my email in the description just in case you guys want to reach out to me. Uh, I think I have some marketing for you guys. Uh, my uh. food was good. My food was pretty good. Okay, well, if you want to reach out to me, I'll give you some business. No, 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 no. If you, you want to reach out to me. No, no, listen, listen. Okay. I have a different thing, though. I'm not trying to just promote what they are right now. I like, get, you know, go behind the scenes, yeah, kind of give yeah, you, like, a little bit of creative direction. Uh -huh. um, you know, a little bit of season seasoning cabinet oh, update. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, but very nice woman. Yes. Very, very nice, nice very woman nice. talking about, you know. Very nice. I don't know when we're gonna film that part of like the the, the chat GBT showing us what we see after the movie, but we're gonna see right now in like thirty minutes. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which Malik said is gonna be the best movie I of the love century. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I hate them. We, we went to an early showing. We're actually gonna see it before the movie came out. We'll kind of vlog that part and show how it is, and then we'll do our final meal. Um, we kind of started late in the day, so we didn't have three meals, but we literally got here and. Um, um, we were already running late. There was a long line because like, the, the movie was obviously starting and then there was a lot of people who were going to see that movie. And so we were in the regular concessions line because he wanted to see if there was like a souvenir cup or whatever. And so I, what, what the mistake we made was that I should have went to the bar yeah. line while he was doing that because we didn't know what we were, uh, what we were in for. But so we, we finally get out of the, um, the concessions line and we go into the bar line and there's nobody behind us at all. There's only like two people in front of us yeah. or whatever. 
but the bartender is moving literally criminally like slow. at a snail's pace like so slow he's going doo, 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 doo. he's like looking around oh and we're God, like he's actually doing so much and i always dude. wonder like i feel like you never know like if somebody's movie is starting yeah. soon like i'm not blaming him like to know that I'm everybody's thing him. but he i was just moving like slow like i don't know i just think he was doing too much because i was telling Darius, i was like okay like because i was like this is a lot because it's our movie started at seven we got that at like 6.50. We waited in the concessions line for, for about like 10, 10 minutes. Yeah, so the movie was... And up. then I was like, oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But then I see this man going. <laughs> and I said, well, he, okay, so on? so we look at... I'm like, okay. And the, the guys in front of us, he made their drinks or whatever. Or, and he was, was making them slow. Drink. And it took 10 minutes. Well, no, because there was a black guy in front of us, and there was a guy in front of him. No, but that too. guy just asked something. Oh, I didn't and know. And then they left. He didn't get anything. Well, drink. whatever. Keith Lee uh, got a drink. He's a Keith Lee. Whatever. Anyway, so he um, um, got his drink or whatever, and he didn't, like, look at anything. He was just going really slow. Mm -hmm. And so we were like, okay, whatever. Um, and then Malik is like, but at this point, it had been 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes Literally. already. And we were like, that's actually so much for him to make one drink. So we were like, okay. Um, and Malik was like, I'm going to go in there because he cares about, about um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles more than I did. So I was like, you know what? It's fine or whatever because he asked to go in there. So he went in there, um, gave me his card. So I'm sitting there like waiting for his drinks to come out. Mind you, I was going to get drinks too. But I was like at the pace that, that he's moving. By the yeah. time the movie starts, like there's no way he's going to make four drinks and at this point i look behind me and there's like four or five people like behind me now and i'm like this is so much so i'm sitting there and he's about to finish like our drinks like um finish making them right and he's at the very end he asked the lady to the next to next to me like what do you want and she was like oh can i just get eight ounces of the red blend or whatever and so he says nothing or whatever i pay um um, the card and he doesn't hand me the drinks so it's like just behind the thing and now he's trying to make this lady's like eight ounce thing of red wine which i also think was a lot because the guy in front of us he he gave him the receipt he paid for the things he put salt right. on his rim he gave him a napkin all before he even talked to us and i he's think taking other orders now, i think that i think, that I think he was pressured because there were so many people behind us and there weren't that many people before and then all of a sudden he asked her or he asked her like when he when, right at the end of our drink making pro process but he just kept it behind the thing the bar he didn't even give it to me so then i was like okay what's going on so i'm just looking at them and he's talking to this lady and and he was like i'm actually gonna be honest with you I don't know what a red blend is. <laughs> and I said, what? I was like, what are you talking you about? The, part. the lady asked him for a red blend. Right. And twice. And he was like, so I don't know what that is. So and I was like, gosh. what does that even mean? And mind you, I can't even leave because my drinks are still behind the bar. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so much. And then she was like, what do you mean you don't know what that is? And he was like, I'm a manager here. Like, I don't even bartend. I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, honestly, I don't even drink. Like, also, mind you, while he was making my drink, he pulled out a, a recipe. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's holding it under the light like it's a dollar bill. He's pulling out a recipe, reading through it, scrolling through it, and I'm already going. This they had a little so booklet, much. and that's why that's when I was like, I gotta go in the theater because he was doing too much. I'm and so and sorry. he got he got uh, two um, Long Island iced tea. Yeah, which I I don't know if it's intricate or it's not that interesting. Isn't intricate. it just it's just. I think well, I don't know. Maybe their drink. Types of, maybe their yeah. thing has more stuff in it. I don't know. But whatever. So, anyways, so then, then, but then it just escalated because the lady who like wanted the red blend and the fact that he didn't know, she was just upset about that. I think it was a combination of that and also that she, it was taking so long. Like she had waited there for probably about ten minutes too. Now at this point, just for him to make two drinks, and she was like, "This is ridiculous." And obviously, I was like that too. But um, um, literally her and the lady next to her started bonding over the fact that he didn't know what he was talking That's about. So and that was so much. embarrassing. And he was literally just going like, I don't know what a red blend is. And she was like, well, and, and then the lady next to her ended up started looking at the wine bottles going, bring that one over here. It's probably that one. And she was, and then the other girl was like, oh how do you not know what a red blend is? And he was like, I'm sorry, I don't drink. <laughs> and it was actually so much. And I was so uncomfortable. And there were so many people behind him. And I'm just thinking like, People probably do have to go see their movies. I always Lit, think about like I think that's so much. I always think about the the um people. Well, I wonder a why he was having a bartend. Like mm -hmm. if this guy didn't show up, the, or the person who was supposed to bartend didn't show up. And I get that part. I really, really, really do. But I just think he was just like 
He was just he, had, moving, he didn't he was have a sense of really urgency. Slow. Like he didn't have any sense of urgency. He was moving really slow. And the first guy's drink, he seemed like like I get with mine, he was looking at the recipe, but the first guy's drink, he seemed like he knew what to make, but he was just moving so slow. Right, right, because the first guy, he never looked up like looked yeah, up, he how, never to looked make up it. how to make it. So I don't know. But um I was wondering the same thing in bars in, in airports. Oh. Because like what if you don't get there early enough? You're just like, okay, I have like 30 minutes to my flight mm -hmm. boards. I want a drink. And they're going, zoot, 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 zoot. Yeah. But see, airports, going, I would get more because like there could be layovers or all Right, things. I get that. But how early would I show up before my movie to get a drink? Like, I think you should be like, okay, we got to move all this on. We got to do this kind of thing. Right. Like, I'm not sure. There's probably up less people who are showing up 40 early minutes. So, yeah, I get for that. My thing. Um, I don't know, but. That was our experience. The movie yeah. was good, but I ended up getting in there like probably about he five to ten minutes. He yeah, the first act. I did miss the first act trying to get in there. And also, let's talk about the seats. The seats were this big. Yeah, they and were. I was going. What? It was like so narrow. Like I was literally almost shoulder to shoulder with both Malik and the girl next to me. And I'm like, this is ridiculous for. And, and I think lot. AMC's always been cutting corners with like their seats. Like I don't. They and then it, it reclined. We couldn't find out how it reclined. Anyways, and it barely it so reclined. Dark. It barely reclined. And then, and then another, that wall in front of us was so close. Yeah, that's to what the I was seat. gonna say. That's the main thing. It's like so then. If the movie starts, it's over. If you have a full row and you're, like, trying to get down mm. to the middle or the end or whatever, you're not getting in. You have to walk single file, like, foot yeah. in front of the other because there's about three inches of space between the rec uh, reclined open chair and the wall in front. And I was like, and really? So like, much. And so you're, like, going, excuse me? Sorry? Yeah. Excuse me? And they're going, and they're what going the ugh, hell? while, while the, um, the, the Ninja Turtles are on the screen. <laughs> that is what and I'm going, sorry. And I have three drinks in my hand. It was literally so much. Um... I just think that AMC's always just been ghetto as far as like. Okay, but I didn't know. I think Marcus really eats. Marcus does eat. And we were always like spoiled and in we Wisconsin. Were very spoiled and I didn't Marcus. know that until I went to Arizona, but they do have good alternatives. I but just they're have, also way more expensive too, I feel like. On two on like the five dollar Tuesdays, I think mm -hmm. everyone else is like six or something. But I think that I don't know how much Marcus is anymore. I don't know. Marcus remember. is like ten dollars, five dollars, six dollars on Thursdays. Really? Yeah, $5 it's definitely on Tuesdays, cheaper. $6 on Thursdays. Because it's like probably like $12, $13 a ticket. Yeah, and I think that's Harkins. crazy. But Harkins is pretty good on the West Coast. But anyways, they're definitely better than AMC. AMC is just always so bad to me. Like, I think that either they don't have, they don't have like their theaters up to date where it's like reclining chairs or whatever. Or when they do, they do a bad like that. Yeah, and it was like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it was like a... Like I tried to put my thing because I thought it would go all the way up and it wouldn't. Yeah, and we were we were literally like a Z. That's, yeah, that's that how this thing looked was. like. It was like a, your butt was down and mm -hmm. your knees were up. It was like weird. It was like a roller coaster. We it was like a roller coaster. Us complaining about the whole thing, but whatever. That <laughs> was just our was experience. Good. The, the movie, movie was, was good. good. Um, it was just a lot getting here. We probably should have came early to get. We needed to start coming earlier to get drinks, yeah. I guess. Um, but we didn't know that was gonna happen, obviously. Um, but anyways, we're gonna go get pizza right now, Mellow Mushroom. That's what came up on the um on chat, the chat GB GBT. GBT. Um. And, um, yeah, it was going to be our final meal and our final, I guess we only ate twice today. Let me know if you guys want to see, like, AI choosing, like, what we do in a day, like, instead of just eating. Um, but, yeah, we're going to go pick up the Mellow Mushroom right now. All right, we got the Mellow Mushroom. Um, they showed us in there. And I got, like, this literally um, Mutant Ninja back. Turtle. No, I didn't get picked back. Um, this is a, ch I really, guys, I don't mess with anything that's not red sauce. So I got this, um, the chicken, bacon, um, like it's like a barbecue chicken pizza. And then this one is like a mellow mushroom thing, but I'm scared cause it doesn't have, none of these have red sauce. This is like barbecue and that one is, um, like garlic aioli or whatever. Um, What'd you get? I got, I got the mighty meats. Uh, um, now argue with me in the comments. I don't think anything is mighty about this meat. Um, it looks good. It smells really good. But it like, looks like there's more meat on camera than it looks there is like, in person. Oh yeah, <laughs> a little bit. It does. It does. It does. There's definitely more meat on camera than there is in person. There's actually two pepperonis instead of whatever you see on there. So trust me, this is like a good piece of bacon back. Um, he said bacon back. It smells really good. It's got wings. Malik always likes the different. Pe well, this one's a normal pizza, but yeah, usually he likes pizza. usually likes French fries and you know. Anchovies and his pizza. No, that's not true. Um, Those are the wings. wings. They, they look... smell good and look good. Hmm, too. They smell like wings. Okay. Um, sorry. Anyways, um, I'm literally just gonna eat this. Try a couple pieces of pizza because I'm not even like I'm hungry. 
Um, but I know I'm, I'm gonna want to save most of this for later. Is that like ground beef on it? He said, I don't care what kind of meat it was. This is good. Is it taste like it's a mighty meat? So no, 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 no. It's no. still not mighty. It's good. Okay. This is like a Frankenstein pizza, and I'm scared now because it's like all mixed together. Um, this is the barbecue one. I'm gonna try first. Again, you guys know I don't do barbecue chicken pizzas. Uh, my verdict is that they ate down. <laughs> That's actually really good. Um, let me try this mellow mushroom. This is just mushroom. I don't even know what's on this one. Except for literally two pieces of chicken at the front because it's mixed. The, the barbecue pizza was really good. Um, I'm scared because this one has a... Yeah, it was really good. I think they're actually both really good. This one's a little less flavorful, but this is more of a mushroomy flavor. But I'm glad I went out of my comfort zone because normally I'll be staying with the pepperoni and mm -hmm. cream. Both are, good. both are really good. This was definitely better than Landmark Diner. Landmark wasn't a landmark. It was actually... Um, I don't know. I can't even think of anything. It's too late at night in the night. But, um, oh, I forgot to mention. I've had mellow mushroom before. My parents used to go there and get, this is fun, fun fact. The reason why the first time um, I tried to go vegan, I couldn't do it because we went, to, <laughs> we went to mellow mushroom. They didn't eat this. But we went to mellow mushroom and they had like vegan cheese. I was like, I don't think I can do, I don't think it's for me. Like, that's the day when I tried their vegan cheese, I was like, I cannot do this. Like, it was, to me, it was so gross. Like, I don't know if they needed that, but it was just like, like solidified Elmer's glue is what it tasted like. Um, and I was like, this is t tastes crazy. But those two pieces are very good. Um, but obviously, I was trying vegan things, so it's like not really their fault. It's just, you know, whatever. But anyways, um, I'm going to end this video right here because I'm literally so tired and it's been a long day. Um, even though we started late in the day, I guess that's why it's been a long day. Um, but I will see you guys next time with another video, or I guess we will, um, peace out.